Hey everyone, it's me. Um, today I'm just going to do a quick little video to show you the neat um, care package that I got in the mail yesterday. I was really happy to get it. Um, Tremia uh, is a lady who has a lupus vlog on YouTube that I follow. Um, and I'm going to put a link to her vlog um, in this video as well as link, links to other vlogs that I'd like you guys to check out. Um, there's a few lupus patients doing vlogs on YouTube that I follow. Um, Tremia is one of them and another one is Samantha and she is... I think 16, um, 16 or 17, and um, and there's a gen, a young gentleman. Um, he's a teenager, I believe, and he's dealing with lupus. But I haven't seen any new videos from him lately, so I hope he's okay. Um, and there's another lady um, named Michelle. And um, her vlog is quite informative and helpful. Um, however, again, I haven't heard from her very much lately either. Um, so I hope that she is doing all right. Um, I know that she was quite sick on her last um, vlog um, and uh, was dealing with a lot. But. Um, Anyways, and um, there's one more person that I follow. Two more, actually. Um, one, I haven't had a chance to watch all of her videos yet because I just recently subscribed, so um, I can't quite remember her name, but I will put a link to her vlog as well in the description of this video. And the last one is Stephanie. Um, she just started her own lupus vlog as well, and she actually lives in Ontario, Canada as well. Um, she's not too far from me actually. Um, so, and she's done, uh, sorry, my toe is really itching. My skin has been really itchy lately. Um, anyways, so those are the vlogs that I follow that I really enjoy. Um, I think out of all of them, Tremia <laughs> puts the most vlogs out there. She does one just about every day. Um, the other ones are a little bit more infrequent. Infrequent. Is that right? Anyway. Um, and yeah, so please, please, please go check out their vlogs. Subscribe to them as well um, because the more subscribers, all of us uh, lupus vloggers get the more um, the higher up we get I think in YouTube or something like that and so then we can get more viewers which means we can raise more awareness um, and get more people knowing and learning about lupus so please 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 subscribe and and go and check out their videos um, you will learn a lot um, so anyways um, Tremia and I, um, well it was Tremia's idea actually, to do a care package swap. So her and I exchanged care packages um, and I can't for the life of me remember everything I sent her but I sent her um, goat's milk, a uh, bar of goat's milk soap which apparently I, I didn't know it was, it's good for people. Um, for chemo patients and Tremia is going through chemo right now um, for her lupus and so um, hopefully this goat's milk soap will help her skin feel much better. Um, I sent her some snazzy nail polish. I sent her a hand gripper um, which is something that I always use and um, so I actually bought another one for myself the same day I got one for her because I always carry one in my bag and so that I always have it at work with me. 
but now I can have one that stays at home as well. So that's cool. Um, and I, I know I sent her like a notebook and I made her a CD of inspirational music and I made her a lupus awareness bracelet, which I made one for myself too so that you guys can see what it looks like. It matches, whoops, it kind of matches the one that I made for the um, lupus auction baby. So anyways, that's it, right? right there. Um, so anyways, I was, <laughs> I, I just want to say thank you again, Tremia. I enjoyed the package. It really made my day <laughs> to come home and get this package because you did it so creatively. <laughs> Mine seemed kind of boring in comparison, but, um, so first off, there was a nice, little card which I put a card with mine too actually and um, anyways she basically made this into a lupus care package and so the first thing is this shirt right here it's purple and it has butterflies the lupus color and the lupus sign how cool is that I really like it um, and to me, I don't think it's actually too big on me. I tried it on last night and I think it might just work as an everyday shirt, but it is actually really comfy as a night shirt. So I don't know. I might still use it as pajamas because it's really cozy. Um, and then she attached little notes explaining each item that she chose. Now, this is really funny. I sent her the exact same thing, only a different scent. It's from Bath and Body Works, or sorry, yeah, Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. And it says, with our lowered immune systems, we need to take precautions to prevent infections. Plus this stuff smells good. So it's a little pocket hand sanitizer. And, I, and this one is Sweet Pea. And I think I sent her cucumber or something. Um, some nail polish and it says just because every girl needs to feel pretty and pop, um, travel size sunscreen keep a travel size in your bag just in case you get caught without any sunscreen on because lupus people always have to wear sunscreen to keep themselves from sun sensitivity um, some Kleenex for my purse. With Sjogren's, our eyes are constantly tearing up and tissues are always needed. Now, I do have, I think, a form of a little bit of Sjogren's, Sjogren's, whatever. Um, however, I don't get the teary eyes. Um, I just get really gritty, um, really a really gritty feeling in my eyes and get like a real really strong burning sensation but my eyes don't really tear that much however with this cold that I have right now I'm blowing my nose constantly so I will use these for something different I will use these to constantly blow my nose um, and a puzzle book as I mentioned in one of my other vlogs, it keeps our minds active. Oops. Um, a 2011-2012 day planner, which I will need and probably fill up in no time at all. Keep this in your purse and automatically write down your appointments. This way you don't have to keep up with those annoying appointment cards. Um, soft lip and it has sunscreen in it. Our lips need to be protected from the sun also. This lip balm is the best. Um, a little notebook and it says, I use these to make my list of things to do, groceries, etc. I keep it near me so I can write stuff down before I forget. 
so do I. These always come in handy. Mm -hmm. And there's some cute little note cards and it says, getting a card in the mail is awesome. Now you can bless your friends and family with a note. And then there was this glittery gel pen. And I, I'm sorry, Tremia, I put it in a little Ziploc bag because it was leaking at the time, but it seems to have stopped leaking now. So I think it's okay, but it was leaking for some reason. Um, always use your own pen. Just think about how many people use the pens at the doctor's office, and they are there because they are sick. Very true. Very true. And lastly, she sent me a whole bunch of information on lupus. There's this little brochure here. And a thing that just has facts about lupus and the Lupus Foundation of America. And just like asking, like, have you ever had these symptoms? If so, you might have lupus kind of thing. Um, a little brochure about what is lupus. Um, patient education series. How lupus may affect my body. Um, what I need to know about how lupus is diagnosed, how lupus may affect my life, the impact of lupus on the body, um, what I need to know about lupus treatments, and 10 reasons why the Lupus Foundation of America is leading the way. And also, um, the many shades of lupus. This is about um, information for multicultural communities. And the Lupus Now magazine, which I've been considering subscribing to, but I haven't yet. And so yeah, so this, I'm anxious to read through this. It's very, looks like a very good thing. And it talks about why the right amount of shut eye is so important and sleep easy. So I really need to read that because I need to figure out how to get more sleep. Because even if I go to bed early, I still wake up on and off all night long. So anyways, so that's my care package that I wanted to share with you because I just thought it was so creative and thank you once more Tremia I really enjoyed it we'll have to do this again sometime and I just love my shirt it's so cute I'll have to wear it in my next video um, anyways that was the plan until I realized I had already changed in my pajamas and once I'm in them I never want to get out of them so <laughs> anyways um, that's that and um, not really much else to talk about. <laughs> yeah, my stomach's feeling a little bit nauseous tonight. Again, I don't know why. So, I think I'm just going to go to bed as soon as I finish this, and I'll probably upload it another day because I'm really tired. Anyways, that's all for today. Have a great night, and please, please, please don't forget, check out the links in my description and please subscribe to them because we need to get the word out. So, bye for now.